Space travel is the most exciting and challenging adventure that humanity has ever taken. The problem is that with every rocket and satellite launched, we are creating a trap for ourselves, that if nothing is done now, could trap us on our planet for decades, or even centuries. Getting to space is really hard. To do so, you would need to move very, very fast. First, you would need to go straight up to leave the atmosphere, then sideways to begin to circle Earth. If that's done successfully, you can achieve a low Earth orbit. Also, once in an orbit around Earth, it is really hard to get out of an orbit around Earth. Unless you have more energy after this journey, you would be stuck in this orbit around Earth. That's good news for stuff that we want to stay in orbit, like space stations, and satellites. So, we moved most of our space infrastructure in this space, a few hundred kilometers above the surface. This is where the atmosphere is thin enough so that satellites could orbit for centuries before burning up in the atmosphere. This is not good news, it is actually the source for our deathly trap. Rockets are really big tin cans made of metal which carry fuel. Every time a portion of the fuel has been spent, the empty tanks are dropped to make the spacecraft lighter. Some parts fall down and burn up in the atmosphere. But most of the useless tanks are left in space and begin to orbit the planet. After decades of space travel, low Earth orbit has become a junkyard of space junk. Right now, we know of around 2,600 defunct satellites, 10,000 objects bigger than a computer monitor, 20,000 as large as an apple, and 500,000 pieces the size of a marble, and at least 100 million parts too small that they can't be tracked. This space junk is moving at speeds of over 30,000 kilometers per hour, orbiting Earth on irregular orbits, multiple times a day. Orbital speeds are fast enough so that being hit by an object the size of a pea, would be a blast comparable to a blast from a plasma gun. On impact, the debris vaporizes, releasing enough energy to punch through solid metal. So, we covered our planet's orbit with millions of pieces of destruction. We also happened to put a trillion dollar infrastructure network, right in the middle of it. It performs essential duties for the modern world that we live in now. From global communication, to weather, to GPS and navigation, to asteroid tracking, to a bunch of scientific discoveries. Things we would miss very much, if it all suddenly went away. If one pea-sized debris hits a satellite, it would disintegrate immediately. Three or four satellites would get destroyed this way every year. The number of satellites is expected to grow 10 times in the next decade, we are approaching a tipping point. The worst thing won't be tiny pea-sized pieces of junk, it would be an unstoppable chain reaction that turns useful infrastructure into junk. For example, if two satellites hit each other, they don't stop then fall down, it's more like a splash. Orbital speeds are so fast that solid pieces spray right through each other, transforming the two satellites into clouds of junk. Still fast enough to destroy more satellites. This would create the most destructive sort of domino effect, a collision cascade. Like a shot from a shotgun, a small collision then becomes a wall of destruction. As time passes, this domino effect would accelerate exponentially, soon destroying everything. In 10 years, time, space around Earth may not be safe enough for long-term satellites. In the worst-case scenario, millions of pieces of debris, many too small to track, would orbit Earth at speeds of 30,000 km per hour, creating a deathly barrier around Earth, too dangerous to cross. Dreams of Moon and Mars bases, and space travel at all would be set back decades or even centuries. We also can't forget the loss of our space infrastructure, which would set some technology back to the 1970s. While the space industry has been better at avoiding space junk, it is still moving fast, and weapons tests don't help. So, there have been several weird but serious suggestions to remove as much space junk as possible. 
Whatever the solution, one thing is sure, if we don't act now, we might get trapped on our planet for decades or even centuries.